and I just want to publicly salute him. By the way, talking about public salutes, I'll tell you a sweet little story. At the uh, end of services at my synagogue on Saturdays, we have a lunch, and then we uh, sing uh, we sing some Jewish songs. And for years, I was the unofficial accordionist, partially because nobody else plays the accordion, and partially because anybody who would play anything was welcome to do that. So it broke, and for years, I just didn't have the time to fix it. So Miri Rabinovich, a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful woman whose son is one of the great, great men of America in the, in the U.S. military right now, in fact, going back and forth to Afghanistan. And uh, she said, all right, I'm going to get your accordion fixed. So she took it upon herself, and she did. And it's not easy to find who's going to fix an accordion. It's not it's not a, shall we say, it is not as ubiquitous as a CVS pharmacy, an accordion fixing store. Anyway, she finally found Cassell's Music and run by Ed Intagliata. I have his card here. He fixed it and then wrote a note. Dennis repaired with my compliments. Thank you for your voice of reason and clarity. I appreciate your show. Well, Ed, I want you to know how much your little business card and your gesture of fixing the accordion meant to me that I wanted to say it on the air. Those, those, they're the little things that mean a lot. And now I'm back to accordion playing. You all know why I play accordion? Here's the story.